Hey, what is going on? Are you good looking people? My name, my name is Mr. Jane A. Thank you. Welcome back to another Transformers Studio Series review. Today, taking a look at the newly released, well, retail at least, of the, of the 20, of uh, number 29 of the series of the Transformers Dark of the Moon. Sideswipe. Now, I'm actually excited for this because I did not get a sideswipe uh, from, from the Dark of the Moon line when the movie actually came out. But uh, yeah, this is a series series, so obviously it's got a higher detail. And uh, yeah, you see, you do have the nice uh, movie art, the CGI over here. You have another CGI, and also you do have the Corvette symbol, which he does transform the Corvette Stingray. Uh, yeah, hopefully I'm not disappointed with this as I was when I was doing the dreads. Not one of the dreads, not dreads from the Age Extinction one, uh, Berserker. I was very disappointed with that. Now, if you wanna check that out, yeah, just check that out on my channel. I'm not even gonna pull a link because I thoroughly hated the figure. Now, picking up, and all you could see that you do have actually a screen accurate version of actually the chest area, and you know also have his blades, which, yeah, one's over here on that side, and other is on this side. But uh, yeah. You have a nice one. You also do have his guns, which I believe you can also put on the back one, at least according to the Transformers, the page, official Hasbro Transformers page I follow. So, but yeah, over here you did a nice box art, a full body shot of the one that was on the opposite side. But uh, yeah, you're, and uh, yeah, I will say this guy, he sideswipe, he does not have feet. So he's actually not going to be standing. Unless you put like a little stain on the back, which obviously you put on the back. Now let's see here, this is a kind of new release. You do have World, World War II Bumblebee, which actually isn't accurate to what you saw in that, uh, I believe, Age of Extinction movie. You have Clunk Bumblebee, which is essentially a repaint of, uh, I think, 19 or something, but uh, of, of the 2007 film from the Serious Series Bumblebee, from the Serious Series Line Bumblebee, but just comfortable one but they do but it's just more paint application I don't plan on getting this because I already have the, the one from the first studio series version of the first movie and uh yeah you do barricade and uh yeah you do also say you, so if you do the backdrop which it's it, right here it shows it's just 18 steps and it says Side side backs up Iron Man and a head to head against the dress, which if you don't want dress, just look a crankcase, which you know, it's also in stores too, but I don't recommend it because I've had a bad experience with them, so yeah. So uh yeah, I kinda of picking up the camera again. You do have side slap, you have transform stuff you got in the stingray, and you do have big screen inspired. And uh, hopefully I will remember to actually show you guys the matchup because I don't I didn't do it for like dreads review, but uh, or whatever berserker review. I keep on dreads because essentially he trans he looks exactly like the Dark and the Moon dreads, or, like one of the dreads. But uh, yeah, you have the blades and uh, yeah, you see here he doesn't have feet, so you you will have to use some of these heels to actually get him to uh, you know stand. I don't know if you want to stand, but uh. Roller skate or something, but uh, yeah, I don't know if you can see this right here. Yeah, that's his feet or one of his foot feet. Foot, <laughs> Jesus, but uh, yeah, so that transforms Dark of the Moon, side steps to your series number 29, and uh, yeah, uh, and this guy's that's kind of wrapped up for the intro portion, but uh, yeah. So, let, so let's get side swipe out here and I'll see how awesome he is. Okay guys, so here we had the Transformers Studios series side swipe open up in, in his vehicle mode. And uh, yeah, before I get into this actual uh, review, uh, yeah, if you can hear the difference between my voice and in this part and with the intro is because I kind of been putting this off. I apologize, but uh, yeah, here it is. And uh, yeah, this is from the Dark of the Moon line. This side, side as you can see, each part of Dark of the Moon. He's uh, it is a uh, Chev 
It's a Corvette Stingray. Um, car in, in that uh, dress chase, you see that he is completely convertible. Now, I don't believe Corvette actually sells a uh, Stingray like this. I th just regular. I think you have to order it. Like I think you have to get it custom made or something online. I don't. I don't know. I'm not that into a Corvette. But uh, yeah. But yeah, I do have a Hot Wheels Corvette, so uh, yeah, I'm kind of glancing over Cor the camp convertible one. It does not look anything like this, but I guess Stingray one, you actually get a custom made. But uh, yeah, say you do have a Stingray. I believe that's a Manta Ray, not a Stingray. Stingrays have barbed one in, which yeah, I'm not even going to critique that, but uh, it's a toy. What do you expect? And also, it's the actual company, so. It's not my choice to actually name it, but uh, yeah. But yeah, before I actually get into the actual uh, review, you do actually have the display box, well, display backdrop, which you, you do have the it says Dark Moon and the bottom, and you do have him, you do have the whole scene from the Mexican standoff. And you see here it says number 29 in the series, generations. Uh, you did Autobot. There we go. And uh, yeah, he did a Mexican sand off now. I don't, I don't know if uh, the studio series plan to actually uh, like release Ironhide and st from the Dark of the Moon movie. But uh, yeah, it'll be nice to actually have two of these together so you can actually physically do the Mexican sand off. But uh, yeah, that's not really the high on my list because I didn't. Because I did not really like the Studio Series Dreads, which, if you did see my review on uh, Berserker, you, you just, yeah, I just, I really hated what they did with the, the actual, the model, the actual figure itself, so, uh, yeah, but I'm kind of, I'm kind of hoping that they release a Dark of the Moon Iron Hide, but, uh, yeah, they have stay in there, so if you want, you can, you can just plop it here, and, uh, yeah. Smoke, so yeah, this is kind of yeah, I believe you, yeah, this is the exact same. I believe there's a Daytona right here, something there's a there's like a muscle car right here. I can't really tell exactly what it is, what kind of car it is, but yeah, this is I believe this is check out. But technically, where they actually filmed this is actually in uh, Maryland, it's actually I think human Reese. Health and Human Services building, the building where or the Autobot base is in the Dark of the Moon. That's actually in Rockville. Now I actually have been there. Actually, I've been to the area, so uh, this is actually not Chicago. Or I don't, I don't remember exactly where. Yeah, this is not Chicago. They, as the movie perceives it, but yeah. I've actually been in the area. I guess they kind of did like uh, some digital editing because I don't remember seeing any of these. In that area, but uh, I mean, they haven't seen a movie in a while, but uh, yeah, enough ranting. But uh, yeah, I'm just gonna kind of leave this guy over on the side, but uh, yeah, he is a nice, like, silver, I wouldn't say metallic, but uh, you do see some sparkling here. I don't know if I can get my lights, my lights on it, but uh, yeah, he's really in a nice gray seat, and obviously, there's no floorboards. Yeah, it's a running joke there. You know, nice molding steering wheel. And, uh... Yeah, you know, nice molding steering wheel. Also have a nice passenger seat and all that stuff. But, uh... Yeah. I actually did not get this guy when... In, from the Dark of the Moon toy line. So, yeah, I'm, I'm actually kind of really excited to actually get this. So, as it's on intro. But, yeah, there are some improvements from the Dark and the Moon line because uh, yeah, the feet, you'll see the feet you can actually get more stable on another one which yes, I will repeat again the side swipe, he is a roller, roller sk rollerblading I don't know if it's a roller skating, but yeah, he's, he's on wheels, he doesn't have feet so, he, he does kind of have like the little pads for the toy itself to kind of have it stay, stable because yeah, if you put his Wheels now, 
yeah, he'll just roll every or flop, flop over or something. But uh, yeah, this guy does not stand like a normal. Android, but yeah, that's yeah, we'll look at it that in uh in Ramo, but yeah, coming down here, uh, yeah, you see, there is weapon storage for his actual like gun here. This is just how the instructions tell you to actually put it. I mean, I mean he rolls, I mean, he rolls pretty well. But, uh, yeah, you do have that. I mean, you see his face here. But yeah, he's just pegged into the actual arms. I mean, I probably wouldn't want to do it. I just, I just refer to the leaders. Hopefully, I didn't peg a whole bunch of stuff. But, uh, yeah, they just peg on the inside of here. There's a slot right there, right here that goes into with these. But, yeah, these are his guns. Oh, it's dual pistols. Or something to do with sidearms for uh in Mexican standoff again I'm gonna be alluding to that. Pretty cool. I mean a nice detailing. And I've only we actually got these on a uh, Dark Moon line. I mean these are entirely one hundred percent movie accurate. I recall properly, but uh and nice and you do the barrels here. I see he, he can't hold us along with his uh characteristic blades. But uh yeah, putting this up to the side and uh yeah, hopefully they don't knock it off. But uh, yeah, he does actually come out with blades, which are, which are incorporated into the door here. As you can see, sort of right here, and obviously, yeah. You know, nice face, which is working a little bit. But uh, yeah, overall nice car. I mean, you do have the Corvette logo right here. Oh, it's here, dust. But uh, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't recall this, this thing was here. In a movie, but uh, yeah, I would kind of have this part raised up here on this side as well. I don't know, I just kind of like balanced and all this stuff, but uh, yeah, you do have this nice quarter of it exhaust pipes, and uh, yeah, now obviously, get getting the transformation itself. The first thing you need to do first is obviously, uh, First thing you do first, kind of done. But yeah, you need to kind of unpeg them. But you see, they're just going to the slots here, which I will actually talk about. Well, hopefully, I will talk about this in uh, if I go back into the vehicle mode. But uh, yeah, you kind of unpeg this, which kind of makes this look more like Cybertronian. You know, but you kind of look more like Tron. That's but uh, yeah, I'll just stop there before I get uh, bombed by the fan of the Tron. So uh. Yeah, you basically unpack this. Basically, you you can either start with arms, but uh, yeah, I, I like to start with the feet. Kind of get stuff out of the way. You kind of want to unpack these, the sides, and, and you basically just want to kind of kind of well lift this up, also move this down, kind of extend extend the actual feet itself, bring it, bring it down. I'm kind of separating them because it kind of gets enough clearance, but uh, yeah, this it goes out like that. So basically, what you need to do is kind of need to open up this a little to kind of get him to the and get him to the kind of a feet place. Feet place. I'm making up words, but uh, yeah, basically, there's feet. These kind of act as heels, so you can kind of. But in the in a movie line, you couldn't close these. You can only have them open. But yeah, if you close them, you can actually get them extra stability, extra stability wise. But yeah, you kind of fold the the, the brake disc on here. And, but it kind of also hinders the trans the wheel rotation. I don't know if it's mine or something, but uh, well. One of these wheels is a lot stickier than others, so it doesn't really roll as well. But uh, yeah, I can do it. It's the same with this side as well. Kind of fold this down. Basically fold this around. Basically just separate them. Then take the wheel disc. Yeah. Again, I will probably will have to fix the wheels. Kind of get them to uh, not be so sticky. Yeah, I'll, I'll try to do this off camera. But uh, yeah, basically there you have his feet. Or... Legs done and obviously coming on to the top. 
what all you need to do first is oh, just get these arms out. Basically, bring, bring them down or so, take them down like so. Basically, just and basically, just leave them there. Oh, which, oh, well, let's do the hands. You just basically reach in there, basically, fall out the hand. I don't have nails. But uh, yeah, I'm just gonna leave this down here because it gets more clearance for the actual chest itself. But uh, yeah, again, some of these parts you kind of do unstick, which I've noticed. But uh, yeah, you kind of want to be careful. I think this side is one that sticks. But, yeah, you kind of need to do that. Kind of lift. Well, yeah, there you go. That unsticks. Kind of fold this down over his head, kind of peg this in, and do that. Which basically this I'm pegged. Oh yeah, I'm gonna, oh, hold on. And then, yeah, it's basically just simple as reattaching them. Basically, just take the these side doors. Well, these, these are the doors in the vehicle mode, kind of. Get them up, kind of rotate them around like so. I mean, you can kind of do whatever one would show when I rotate this around. Kind of take this, fold it in. Basically, take this whole thing, basically rotate them around. Kind of hinge this down. Oh, I just in the wrong order. Kind of, well, don't hinge this down yet. Take this, the whole hood, rotate it around. Kind of leave it down like so. Basically, put this down. Now, you see, I don't know if you can see this, but, uh, yeah, this slot right here, well, this peg goes into that slot right there. So yeah, just take this, kind of, if it, if you line up properly, it slides in. And uh, yeah, you can, you can, you just want to collapse this backpack kind of as much as you can. Now, kind of want to finagle or fiddle with this so I'm not breaking anything. Oh, bring that as far as it goes. But, uh, yeah, you see that, and, uh, yeah, you see the shoulders are down, you kind of want to hinge these up, and, uh, basically, hinge these up, basically, well, you can kind of do whatever you want with these wings, they just kind of sit back there, and, uh, yeah, basically, they have side swipe in his, uh, in his robot mode, well, if I can get this, Got to stand. I mean, obviously he does not have feet, so you can so you kind of have to like lean him back on his uh on his, like the heel spurs that are given there. I mean, you can close these up a little more to kind of give. You well, know, you kind of want to like hack knee him or kind of bend, have him like crouch down a little with the actual feet himself. But uh, if you want to be entirely movie accurate. Like have him roller skate and uh, basically just do that. Ow. Oh. Is this thing slotted in? Oh, it is. It just looks off. There you go. Snap into place. But uh, yeah, basically after you don't feel any, you have side slide without his well, characteristic weapons. Yeah, I I don't recall side slide ever like, oh, he did uh, kind of roller skate after the dreads with his uh, blades out. So uh, yeah, according to the box, you, you're supposed to put this part on top, but again, it works either way. But yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Get a take a slot, put in his hands. Basically, just wow, this looks weird. Thank goodness. Now, let's stretch that out. But come on, man, get that in. Basically, yeah, there you go on this blaze. Well, blade, now blaze. You see, take this, push it in, basically, there you have side swipe, which is, like, 
wrist to have a to have a Tronian blade. I think originally I originally when I saw this it looked like it was all Cybertonian. I guess it's uh Cybertonian metal. But uh, yeah. You do also have his gun, which you can also peg into you can also put him in his hand. But uh Gotta make sure I put him in the right one so I don't like knock off the blades. Oh. Blades is a rescue bot. But uh yeah, I'm just it's kinda hard. it's kinda actually hard to do this. Oh, yeah, there we go. And then yeah, you can have have him hold he's kinda paint him at the dress like quite a Mexican stand up we have here. Yeah. Can't do the side side voice. That's my failed attempt at voice acting. That's probably why I'm sitting here doing YouTube. But uh, yeah, you can have him hold his uh, guns. But yeah, if you don't want, if you don't want to actually do that, you can. Well, I don't put them on. It's kind of hard to take off. But uh, yeah, if you don't want to actually do that, you can actually put these blades into the. There's a thing right here on the doors that uh. You just basically put him like that, put him behind him so you can just kind of reach around. Kind of like a hip holster, except for it's not a hip holster. Yeah, kind of just... go in. Hang on. But uh, yeah, you basically kind of. I mean the peg that holds him in it's kind of hard to actually put the guns back but yeah you have I mean, you have weapon storage so uh yeah now obviously now obviously with each one of the series series there's usually one mode that's typically worse off than others I mean I, I don't I don't see any potential we can sit with each, with any of the, of the modes uh, it just this, uh, maybe some of the pegs maybe are hard to get into, but uh, yeah. I mean, I, I believe this goes around for like nineteen dollars in uh in, in the U.S. I believe, but uh, yeah, it's really not in stock anymore as I'm recording this. But uh, yeah, I think you maybe have to find this online. Almost definitely. But uh, yeah, now taking a look at the D hung itself. You take a look at the head. Incredible detail on the actual face itself. Wow. Take a look at my scab on my hand. Thumb. But uh, yeah, nice. I think, but apparently, I think someone did give you. There's light piping here. Apparently, give you light piping, but there's. Well, I mean, the painted eyes over. I don't know what that's for. I guess it's. Or something. It's probably makes the rest of his face glow bright or something. But yeah, you get a nice detail. You get a nice abdomen section, nice detailing wise. I mean, you do kind of. I mean, the head goes head right on the ball joint, so you can get a variety of range of motion. So uh, yeah. I mean, these chest panels, you kind of want to kind of angle them however you've kind of you know, like that. I mean. It goes out like that, so uh, yeah, you can get. So if you want arm mobility, you can. I mean, obviously, down here, you do have whatever it was here. I guess thing, uh, yeah, like that rotates just right above the elbow, bends and elbow, and obviously you got hand articulation, so you can get a full like slice motion. And uh, yeah, you do a waist articulation here, nice detailing. I mean, legs go forward and back. They are on ball joints. It rotates here, but it's really tight for some reason. And uh, yeah, you do have legs, so you can get a whole like skating pose. But uh, yeah, wheels. I mean, obviously one of these is stickier than others. I mean both. I mean both do roll equally as well. So uh. Yeah. 
I mean, you can get a whole, give, zoom out. But uh, yeah, again, this guy, size swipe is kind of a roller skating Autobot. But uh, yeah, you kind of have to kind of balancing, balance him on the rear, well, balance him on the rear of his, uh, the heel spurs, but uh, yeah, you can get a, you can do cut, cutting pulse, chop, chop. Kind of thing, but uh, yeah. Now, obviously, transforming this back, oh, obviously, transforming this back into a uh, vehicle mode. We need to kind of like kind of want to take your guns off. But, yeah, more than likely, I'm not gonna display my side saw with guns. I mean, side saw known for his actual blaze based in Michael Bay a universe, but uh, yeah, I kind of want to unpack these. Basically, unpack that like so. You see, you just take. I mean, basically, yeah, just do that. Basically, just come around here, take the hood of the car, basically take this, leave it down like so, take this, hinge it up, so you have enough clearance to actually take this, rotate it around, uh, basically take this, kind of, again, rotate it around, kind of lift this up, basically, Structures don't actually tell you to rotate this down or basically whatever, but uh, kind of get this, basically kind of get this down like so, bend it forward, and uh, yeah, basically, well, you know, a whole bunch of stuff. I mean, also, yeah, you don't really see much vehicle cable. I mean, you do see a wheel, but uh, yeah, that's how Sideswipe was in the movie. But Super Series, it actually is pretty accurate, which I'll talk about in. But uh, yeah, you kind of want to unpack this. It's just packed right in that slot here. And I'll pack that kind of get the chest kind of lined up like that. Basically, take this, kind of bring it out like so. Hinge this forward a little. You kind of want to basically push it in like so. Do that. Basically, kind of do this. And uh, yeah, the structures tell you. Like, they kind of don't tell you to kind of push forward, but I guess, assume, but to get clearance, uh, you, you kind of want to, like, hinge these arms down for just a lot of doors to actually, uh, do so, kind of close that up. Basically, get this, like, so. Oh, move these arms out of the way. But, uh, yeah, basically, just seeing the doors again. Again, I, everything's designed to pop out with force while that. I mean, God, I keep popping out so much stuff here. Probably because I have no idea what I'm doing. But, uh, yeah. Apparently this did not line up properly, that's why that popped out. And then, yeah, obviously with the silver, again, I can kind of see that over time, this might get scratched off by you doing all this transformation kind of thing. Kind of the more you play with it, the more scratched up it'll get. But, uh, yeah. I'm gonna get this on top. And basically you do it like so. That you do have this basically, they have like the canopy and you're just missing the wheels. But, uh, yeah, basically, fold the hands in when the hands up. Basically, just kind of like basically slide in like so. I just hit my camera, move this back so, uh. Apparently I didn't hinge this down enough, but uh, yeah, hinge, hinge up, kind of slide it in. Now, obviously, kind of doing the same. I just wrote it so many times. Basically, I did feet up. Basically, take this, and you're gonna, oh, oh, wrong way. You rotate kind of one way. Rotate this, kind of like this way for kind of clearance. Take this, or like so. That's a peg that goes into the other other side of this. Peg and slot. 
I'll just leave it at that, kind of close that up, rotate like so. And basically, you can close the feet and then do it, or you can just take this, put him around like so. Basically, you do that, you kind of do that, and you basically have a front of the car. If you put, put the feet in like so, kind of line this up, kind of want, you want to make sure all the slots are in. And uh, basically you have these two pegs that go on the inside of this. And I'm gonna get that over. And I'll peg that in. Do the same with this side as well. Yeah, hopefully I'm not actually breaking anything, but uh, yeah, close that. And it should also, and while you do it, it should also kind of I know with the doors, but uh, yeah, basically, I get back into his uh, Tron, our feature was like Cybertronian one. But yeah, as you saw, you don't have to leave the guns in, but uh, if apparently there's a motor going on or something else, but uh, yeah, if you kind of do want to, uh, it was in now before you fold the arms up, you can kind of peg this into the side, well, peg this into this side respectfully. I'm not going to do it because. It just kind of looks, kind of looks weird, like, you already have exhaust pipes out here, I guess this is supposed to be extra. But, uh, yeah, you kind of take, take this. Wow, they really are doing yard work outside my house. But, uh, yeah. You kind of want to take this. Come on, door. Oh. I'm gonna do this side first. You see these two go here. Oh, can't, can't do it on camera, so uh... And uh, if you do have uh, both of them in, kind of fills in, and then kind of fills in the car, kind of makes it look, makes it look complete. Well, almost complete. It is complete. It looks like that. Again, yeah, I forgot to mention that, uh, I forgot to show you the, how this display actually works. But yeah, more than likely, I'm not going to be displaying my size sight with this actual back, which is, like, really thick cardboard. It's th thick, thicker than what I expected, but, uh, yeah. Now, again, this is Studio Series, so, uh, yeah, I kind of upgraded the, the movie line. So that should make it look better. Now, in my opinion, Series Series upgraded the figures that are supposed to represent a lot better than almost anticipated. I mean, the mold, the molding of this is much more accurate than what came out in the with the movie line. So yeah, I do enjoy it. It's actually worth the price of nineteen dollars. Well, around twenty twenty something U.S. dollars. So. uh yeah, I mean, you do get these blades detached, whereas, I believe in the Dark of the Moonlight, these were not detachable from the actual hand itself, like, basically, just imagine this whole, whole rotated around, basically the hands were here, so yeah, you, you couldn't detach them, but, uh, yeah, this kind of, this one actually gives you the option to, uh, leave your hand, leave the hand in, but uh, yeah, overall, I do like the figure. I do kind of recommend you guys pick this one up if you didn't get the Doctor of the Moon line. But uh, yeah, that's going to wrap up my review. If you have enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you're new. I always join new subscribers. And uh, yeah, again, thank you guys for watching. And fly hard pilots.